and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep number 67 I think and I'm here with Andre so if you're watching the video I'm just going to let you see say hello to him Hello. He's being very wiggly. Let me get down. Oh, so hi everyone. Um, I might struggle to see what's being read, written. So what I'm going to do going to move the camera around so that I can uh, actually read what's being written so hello everyone this is let me bore you to sleep so kind of the point of this is I just become very very boring more boring than perhaps it seems at the moment, even more boring. And I just continue to be boring and you can drift off or you can just feel relaxed. And there's gonna be the odd sound, which is okay. I say hello to Rachel. Monique, Angela, um, Dalton, is it Dalton? So I'm, I need to share, so I need to go to Facebook, yes I do, I need to go to Facebook, and I need to share this um, thing that I'm doing, so that people on other sites can know that I'm here, you know, if they want to. So for example, let me just do it now. Um, so Angela and Rachel both liked, thank you for liking this video, I've only just started and you liked it already. Thank you. So this is, yeah, number 67. Ridiculous, isn't it, that I've done this many. If I do it enough, if I do enough, I might actually get good at it, whatever it is, if that makes any sense. So Sebastian, my friend Sebastian's just joined, and uh, well, Sebastian, if you want to share that creation you made, you're welcome to do it on here, but you know, if you want to share a picture of me that you've uh, created because I know that you put some work into it so I'm just going to add this oh no I'm going to add this oh, it's started to rain outside so I'm going to share to a page if you like what I'm doing and if you like these things maybe you'd like to share it to your page on Facebook and while I'm live or even afterwards while I'm a live while I'm you know so I'm going to share it to the Colchester free chronic pain relief I can't share and post anything on your wall or on here oh that's a shame <laughs> I thought you'd be able to. So Eduardo Ferrero is here. Hello. So I'm going to share to my main page. Not my main. This is my. So I've got my Facebook page, which is this, but then I've also got the other page where I suppose I've got thirty thousand followers on there, but. 
Um, I don't know where they are. Asleep, probably. So it is 11 minutes past, 11 minutes past one in the morning in, I mean, Essex in England, United Kingdom. And Andre has just made a big bang because Eva, oh, he was in the kitchen, which means he was banging the, he's now getting into the bag. He was banging the kitchen cupboard, which he likes to do. When he wants my attention, he goes into the kitchen cupboard, he opens the door, so he basically gets on his back and he goes like that. And he pushes the door open and he lets it clatter, lets it bang. If that doesn't get my attention, he opens the door wide open, climbs in and starts pushing the tins onto the floor. Because, so Beth's here, hi Beth, Beth Marie, Beth. Um, so, and uh, Rachel says that her cats like, to, like bags. I don't know what it is about bags. So I was outside waiting for the chip shop van about, I don't know what time it was, half eight or something. And one of my neighbors was outside and she was waiting as well. And Andre was trying to get into her handbag, really trying to get in. I mean, he was, at one point she was putting something in there and he was trying to force his way in. It's very cheeky. So what he does, he gets into the cupboard like that he, and he pushes stuff out. And when I go in there, he looks at me, jumps up and down, and then he runs away and hides, and runs behind the, the cooker. He wants me to chase him. I'll let you see what he's doing. If you have a little look. Oh. This is his favorite carrier bag. Anne says hello, hi Anne. Andre says hi, hello. Doesn't want to be in the carrier bag. when I want him to be in the carrier bag. But he sleeps in it and everything. He loves it, not all the time, but he likes it. It's, uh, it's just nibbling on my nails now. Daddy kisses. Mm. Are those that listen to this afterwards? Because I put this onto SoundCloud, iTunes, um, Spreaker, TuneIn. Trying to think of some of the others but they must sometimes think, what's he talking about? Because they can't see him, can they? They've just got me talking. They think, oh, you're putting something into a carrier bag. You've got a ferret and he's in a carrier bag. It must sound a bit weird, but look at his wobbly head. 
He's fine. <laughs> it's not always this passive. For some reason, he's he's feeling quite relaxed today, and he's letting me just play around with him. Is cute. Thank you, everyone. He's. I can't believe that when I got him, he was tiny, absolutely tiny. And I know he's not big now. I mean, obviously he's still little, but anything he can get on my head like that. So that's a picture. Ooh, okay. I was, um, he wants to get down now. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Bye. Back in the carrier bag. And this is why it can be quite difficult for me to make recordings. Because like earlier on I did a, a deep sleep whisper hypnosis session and it was uh, number 13. So I was sitting on my chair I was recording it, I was whispering. Andre was fast asleep, he was in his cage, but cage door was open, but he was just in there for some reason. And I'm trying not to move on the chair because the chair squeaks. I've got the windows up closed, I've got a sign on my front door, do not disturb. Everything's quiet. And then probably, yeah, it was 18, 18 minutes and 15 seconds in, and suddenly he decides to, right now, I can show you what he's doing. Oh, he's gone now. I can't keep up with him, he's just, he, he just suddenly burst into life and all this energy and wants to make rattle things and knock things over and all that stuff. So that's kind of what he does. So there, yep. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I had to just wait for about a minute and a half until he quietened down which he did, he went back to sleep after wrecking the place for about a minute and then he went back to sleep and I'm learning, trying to learn these new techniques for recording that I've not really used before. So what I do now is I try and do markers on the recording, so I like to clap my hands or make a loud noise at the beginning of the intermission where I need to cut it and then just before I start recording again so when I'm do or editing the audio which I'd need to in that situation I can cut and splice and stuff cut and splice that sounds good doesn't it oh. I'm not a massive fan of the whole editing process because I don't I don't want to edit I just want to be able to just I don't edit these, the live sessions, I can't, can I? 
so okay so I need to look at this uh, Sebastian just posted something but I need to see <laughs> okay let me see if if I'm able to post it Sebastian's made a picture of me it's only me and you on on here now anyway I think it's made a part I don't know how to post it how do I post it so I'm just on my laptop I'm going to see how I can forward Hi Rachel, you're still here. It's gone down, it was at eight and now it's gone down to one. I know Sebastian's here. So, oh, it's not letting me, it's not letting me um, post it anywhere. It's a shame. Oh. Share to Facebook. I'm going to share to Facebook the page. So if I post it, so there's a picture. If you go onto my Facebook page, um, Rachel says her uh, internet's been slow tonight. So I've pasted, I've pasted it on Facebook. That's the thing about doing these live sessions is I get distracted. I get distracted by things as opposed to when I'm just chatting so I actually um, I posted it to my Facebook page so you can have a look if you want to it's uh, a picture of me holding Andre up on my head although it's not a great picture when it's big it's a nicer picture when it's small so if I share it to share it to I can't share it to a feed it might allow me to share it to a feed unless ah maybe let's see if I can do something here no it won't allow me to do anything I can put a comment, but that's that's all I can do. I can't actually share the. Sebastian, don't. Okay, let me see. I can probably do something. No, no, it's not allowing me to put anything on there. Start a video. Uh, no. There's nothing I can do. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I I need to tell everyone that Sebastian edit post. Sebastian did this. This. I know that these uh sessions are supposed to be boring but it's seriously boring anyone listen to this it just because you can't because it's just me typing and talking about something that you can't see because you're listening to it seriously very very boring anyway yeah you post it's not the pictures not coming up on the feed for some reason I think it does, it does if you, um, you know, if you do a, like a, a live chat or shall I take you into the kitchen with me? Come on, come on, I'll take you into the kitchen. You ready for this? Right. 
See, I told you. That's what he does. I'm gonna walk backwards. It's a bit weird. It's like doing some kind of vlog, except it's live. It's better lighting in there actually. to carry this around wherever I go. Oh, excuse me. Now he's eating his dinner. So if you are listening to this, I suggest go to the video. And what time are we at? It's about 17 minutes in. You get to see me go into the kitchen and he basically he was in the cupboard, in the kitchen cupboard. So just in case you want to see it. In case you think that I'm telling fibs. So I'm gonna have a little bit of my thingy. So I started vaping three weeks ago because uh, changing my lifestyle somewhat and it is the easiest way to stop smoking ever tut tut not smoking the NHS recommend these So the last week, kind of, the last two weeks really, so I won't be able to see any messages sent to me because the laptop you can hear it cut off in a minute. It's like 99% better than cigarettes. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's Sebastian. I'm gonna block you if you don't stop. So stop. This is a positive page. Remember, be positive, happy. So I've been trying to put together videos. Um, go back in 2011 I used to I used to have a webcam like a, a proper video camera and I put quite a lot of effort into editing and um, making the so it looks fucking I'm able to delete that am I Oh, can't delete messages. Never mind. And um, I, there's been periods when I've lived in places where the lighting is terrible and I haven't had the resources to make videos or to make proper, even decent audios, like quality wise. But I'm now in quite a good position where the with if I put the time in and I can find a, a bit of space and time when Andre's not being naughty, I can produce some fairly good quality sound stuff and um, video as well. So what I've been doing is Right, okay, there's a conversation going on which is now going to end on the Facebook page. No more talking about cigarettes or anything like that. This is uh, a sleep session. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Think of nice, 
Christmassy things. Don't have conversations. We don't. We don't do Facebook conversations here. You can get that anywhere else. You know, those Facebook conversations where people get all uh, opinionated and stuff like that. Don't have that on my page. I see that. I look. Uh, I, I'm on a few forums. Um, and I see some stuff on there that's quite weird. So Rachel says the candle vid looks really good and I can see the effort you put in. I'm not sure if I'd be able to listen as I think I'm a bit deaf and appreciate your hard work. Yeah, and the the whisper ones, I mean, clearly they, the volume is pretty good still, even though it's a whisper, so you can still wear headphones and put the volume up to maximum. Um, but I do a lot of other stuff that isn't whisper as well, so, uh, you know, it's plenty of choice with me. That's the one thing I've got going for myself, I think, is there's, you got choice. There's lots of different bits that you can choose from. Uh, whether you want stuff with music, if you want short things, if you want long sessions. Most of the stuff I do these days are quite long. Um, the reason I do the deep sleep whisper hypnosis sessions is because they are among my most popular ones on my podcasts. So, you know, I get maybe a hundred downloads a day just from that, just from them, when I, if I upload one. Um, and a hundred might not seem like a lot, but that's 3,000 a month just for that, for those. And it's growing all the time. So, and that's, that's without the videos and everything. So I... I'm going to be making more of those. I've also, I've been trying to video some candles, different angles. I've got a, if you can see over there. See, I've got a lava lamp. So I've got a nice little lava lamp that I bought today which I've already started to film on my iPhone, but it used 10 gigabytes for 20 minutes. And I don't know how on earth the iPhone managed to use 10 gigabytes. Maybe it's because of the colors and it was moving. I don't, I'm really not sure. Um, but it's too big to upload to YouTube because what I need to do with iPhone, I need to upload it to YouTube, then download it, and then do some work on it, edit it. Um, yeah, yesterday I filmed a candle for an hour, hour and 10 minutes. It took about seven hours to upload to YouTube. But for some reason, I couldn't film more than 20 minutes, so I, I'm a little bit confused. I've got the video camera, which is, I'll show you it, go on two seconds. Here's my Canon video camera. So I've been using this and I've been filming, it's a DLR. The quality is a lot better than the iPhone. One of the reasons being is I'm not an expert on cameras. Like Rachel says she likes that my sessions are different every time. Thank you. I'd, I suppose there's similarities especially with these boring ones because they're boring and it's me talking um, but I do I like 
I like the idea that if you choose not to, of course it's always a choice anyway, it's nice to not um, feel the need to listen to the same session every day or every time. Or on another side, it's, it's nice to have variety, but it's also because there's so many to choose from, you've got more chance of finding perhaps that one session that you do want to listen to regularly that kind of fits, you know, that really does, gives you what you need. Do you know what I mean? Um, Rachel says, I still have a lava lamp, but it's about 10 years old. I'm not sure whether it will be safe to use now. Well, I'm not sure if I've ever owned a lava lamp. I might have done, I can't remember. But I have lived places where there were lava lamps there. And one thing that I forgot about is how hot they get. Because this, I put it together and I read the instructions. I'm very pleased with myself. And in fact, I might read the instructions out to you. Let me have a look. Um, I don't know. No, I can't be bothered to read that. Uh, so I forgot how hot they were. And it takes about two hours, hour and a half for it to start really moving around, you know. But it's very hot. And I did leave it on recording. I left it here when I went out. And I was thinking, is that dangerous? No, I wouldn't, of course I wouldn't do that with a candle, but um, I didn't leave Andre here because I took him out with me. I was only outside and there wasn't anything in here. There wasn't, you know, that's gonna knock it over. But I do wonder, you know, if it's safe to leave it. It's turned off now, but I'm gonna be recording it and filming it. But So I filmed something with this yesterday And again, 20 minutes, and it just cut off. 20 minutes of video. So what I might have to do, or need to do, or maybe will do, is do a bit of um, mixing, you know, have a, maybe not just have one picture the whole time, or one video the whole time. I wanna get out, I wanna start filming some trees that are blowing in the wind and maybe if I can, because I live near the countryside, well I live in the countryside, so if I could find somewhere like that on a, a day when it's not raining, I take my camera, I take the tripod and just sit there, or well, stand up probably, cause I, unless I take a seat with me, or sit on the floor, or unless there's a, like a, a tree, you know, a tree that maybe is, fallen over and I can sit on that you know, it depends I mean there might be something to sit on it's unlikely that anybody would have left a tree there a tree uh, a seat or a tree I mean with trees you can't really have any choice but to leave them there you can't can't carry them away you wouldn't carry a tree with you somewhere so you could sit on it trees are I always find it weird, and it might, it's kind of obvious, but trees are so much heavier than they look. You see them in the wind and they just blow, and, but actually, very heavy. So that's what I might do. I did, with my webcam, not my, uh, my video camera that I had in, I think I bought it in 2000 and, nine I think 
and I started using it really I think 2011 I started thinking oh, I'll try and get some nature and I did I started filming nature because um, it was during the summer and I was going into summer like, uh, like wildlife places and I haven't got any of that footage anymore but just like filming a, like a spider in a web and uh, if you look at the stop smoking course that I did uh, I did actually stop smoking for 17 years by the way and then I smoked again for a year and then I stopped but uh, there you go and so I made this session I spent 10 days putting it together and I got a video and for each of these four videos that last about half an hour 40 minutes or something there's I've chosen a particular flower in a garden and I've just had the camera on the flower for you know for the period of time and you see like bees come in and just landing on the flower and flying away and really into like flies and various different insects very nice very very pleasant so that's what I'm thinking of doing and when I I thought there's something about trees I've always liked trees um, not even sure why I've always I've always felt quite connected to trees maybe it's the the connection to the earth the like the roots the, the connected to the planet like they're really connected to the planet we're we're kind of floating on it a little bit aren't we walking on it but they're inside and I'm not a tree hugger but I have hugged some trees but I've not done it in front of other people as part of a group to uh, I don't know to f in order to feel connected or a part of something or accepted by them I was just, I used to do it on my own when there was at night time when there was no one around um, and it was kind of like uh, trying to get in touch with nature I suppose don't know why I did it really but I used to have a park across the road from where I live I have now but that was that was a proper park like massive park with loads of trees this one is just basically some greenery with a path it's just like someone's back garden really but it's not Rachel says uh, Hi Kathy, Rachel says that she always feels connected to the sea and loves nature and the countryside. I'll tell you what I used to like about the sea, because I used to live in a town where there was the sea. Uh, I've lived in two towns where there was sea. No, I lived in three towns, three towns where there was sea. Um, as far as I'm aware and yeah three but what I used to like is being able to look out into the sea or not into the sea the actual, but just looking out and not being able to see anything to not have anything actually obstruct my vision I don't mean as in someone holding an ice cream in front of my face I mean just being able to look and not have anything there 
which I used to be able to do with the sea. I used to be able to just look right through and not see France. My eyesight was never that good to see another country. And I loved that. But some places they've got these uh, wind farms now. So you can't, um, there's not that many places that you can just look into the distance. Because you can't really, I suppose you can if you look up. I used to, something I used to like to do, I remember years ago, back in 2003, probably about September time, maybe October, possibly November, but probably October. And I was working part time as well as doing a, a college course in holistic therapy. So I was the, the college course was full time, I was working part time, so I was working evenings and weekends. And the part, the, the, the course involved massage, full body massage, Swedish massage, um, reflexology, uh, and then also anatomy, I had to sort of learn that stuff. And it progressed on to Indian head massage as well. So I never actually got to complete the course, but I remember I was there and because I was kind of, not so much burning the candle at, at both ends, but it was like, there was pretty much no candle left. And I walked out of college, I think it was lunchtime or something like that. And I, I didn't know where I was going, I just went for a walk. And I ended up finding this big park. There was no one in it, no one. It was, it was a really nice day. So probably October time, probably. It was a really bright, sunny day. And I just laid down on the floor, on the grass, and just looked up at the sky and just watched the clouds go by. And um, Sebastian, he's, he's waiting for a happy ending. Well, the happy ending for this is I, I could just feel my body relax as if it was just melting into the ground. And it's, I've had a few experiences like that where it's just what I needed and it had to happen and it had to happen then and it felt so good and I just laid there and I don't know how long I was there for but I was there for quite a while and uh, I didn't ever go back to college after that to be fair. So I just, and uh, I left the job and I went and worked in retail part-time for a year. But I needed that break, I needed that rest. And my body let me know, I knew long before that that I did, but my body at that moment just said, time to relax and it was my choice what I did next every second of every day we choose what we do next and it's uh, it's a tough one to take on board it's a tough it's 
be tough to accept that we're actually responsible for our actions. But I enjoyed that sense of relaxation. Just watching those clouds go by above me. It's also that connection with I don't know, nature in a sense of it's something I quite like about the weather. As Rachel said, that was a great story. Sometimes we need to listen more to our bodies. I agree, our bodies and our minds, but you know, is letting us know something. It's not always not always uh, easy to know what it is, but our bodies do let us know when attention is needed. It's just whether or not, I guess, we listen to the bodies and also whether or not we're able to at that time. You know, sometimes it's, it's a good thing to ignore it and carry on because that's what's needed at that time. In that moment, I know I quite like the idea of I like weather. It sounds like a weird statement. I quite like it's like saying, Oh, I like breathing, I like sniffing, I like, yes, I like hearing things. I I like, I like it when nature reminds us just who's in charge because nature is in charge and I quite like that. I don't, you know, just the, the awesomeness of a, a thunderstorm or just looking at the clouds and watching them go by and or the wind we can't we just nature is so powerful and humbling in a way so Sebastian likes to sniff as well okay Rachel says she likes the same sound of the rain on the roof um, and thunder and the sound of the sea. I yeah, I'm the, I'm kind of the same. I tell you, when I was a kid, when I was young. Me and my family used to go camping, and uh, a favourite place. For me to be taken camping or tenting as I call it is Wales and Wales is a beautiful beautiful place it's very rainy at times and uh, would go during the summer but you know I used to love sitting in the tent and listening to the rain just you know falling down on the tent the same as Rachel said there about the rain on the roof and yeah it was South Wales that we went to and when it's thundery I like to just I, I turn the lights off if it's during the night and I turn the television off and I just like to just sit I open the windows and I just sit down and I just listen to the thunder and luckily Andre is not bothered at all by the thunder or lightning 
so he's it doesn't affect him at all doesn't care and you know when it when I first had him I used to go and cuddle him and make sure he's okay I still do actually make sure he's alright if it's thundering outside or you know loud but he doesn't seem to be interested at all I think once I heard him whisper this is better than listening to you dad I said what he said no nothing just asleep must have been sleep talking the sounds of the sea that's nice as well I like that I quite like sounds not all sounds obviously no one likes all of anything do they you know I like all chocolate no you don't no there's always going to be something that perhaps you don't oh quite not quite oh oh you know doesn't give you the oh feeling that maybe you had before with other chocolate things going to do something it's really hard to keep the track of the time when I'm doing these because the time doesn't actually show so I'm gonna but only two seconds okay all right so it's 158 so just so I know roughly because I like to keep these to about an hour oh now I've got no one listening or watching so what I was saying earlier is I'm trying to make more videos where uh, like the video I did with the deep sleep whisper number 13 and I'm going to be doing more of that by, you know, as I said, making footage. But I want to do my own footage. I don't want to use other people's stock videos from the internet. I want to film my own stuff. So Rachel says she's got a mint dime bar the other day, but not tried it yet. I didn't even know that they exist. A mint dime bar. I mean, even dime bars, I didn't know that they were still around. But mint ones. Wow. I was, uh, I was looking at this camera the quality of the camera on this the picture is too good and the reason I say that is because it's it shows up it's proper high definition it shows it shows too much if that makes sense it gives too much um, every slight flaw it shows um, and that's kind of part of it's great I suppose if I'm going to be filming wildlife or you know trees and maybe the clouds uh, maybe flowers um, I'm not sure yet but just just generally doing a bit of filming out and about but what I noticed, I don't know if you can see this, and it's not something that I show to people generally. You can see the back of my head. I'm going bald. I'm actually 
back of my head, the, I don't know, is it the crown? I don't know what they call that. But the right at the back, the back bit, is going bald. And I know that I've just shaved my head recently, so you're gonna be able to see my, you can see my scalp anyway, generally. But it's been growing back for the last couple of weeks, three weeks. But I was quite uh, surprised at that. So I could end up with a bald, bald patch. It's, and I started to feel a bit attached to my hair now. Like I want to grow it long and, well not long, but to start looking after it because I've just been shaving it off like, so what? But maybe I should stop shaving it off. All these years I've been telling myself that, well firstly that I can let it grow anytime I want because I'm bald through choice because I shave it off. Don't have to be bald, I can let it grow, which might not be the case in the future. And secondly, I always used to say to myself, being bald is not gonna bother me because I've been shaving my head for, well, since 2002 or 2003 was the, yeah. 2003 was the first time I shaved my head other than when I was a kid. And I've been shaving my head fairly regularly ever since. And I thought it won't bother me if I go bald because I've spent the last 16 years or 15 years you know, shaving my head like at least once a year, completely bald, sometimes lots of times a year. But now it's kind of going a bit. I'm a little bit uh, not feeling it, if you know what I mean. I kind of think I want my hair to grow long, not long, but if you look at some of my older videos where I've got my hair is probably, probably about four times longer than this. And just a little bit, a bit curly at the front. Uh, it's quite a nice length. So maybe do that. But then, what do I do about a beard? Because I got this beard and when I shaved my head, I shaved my face as well but now the beard's growing back. It's not the longest beard, but it's, you know, it's definitely a beard now. But I've seen some pictures and some videos and some old ones where I've got a full, proper full beard and I quite like the way it looks. I quite like the way it feels as well. I quite like having a big beard and Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'd like it better if I didn't have any grey. You know, but... I'm 48 years old, I'm gonna have grey hairs. And I do. And, you know, I, I could cover it up. I could use some... Uh, is it just for men or... You know the stuff I could just I could just brush it in and have my um have like dark hair. But you notice my beard hair is a different colour to my head hair. It's more of a gingery brown. And that the grey hairs that are now, they used to be ginger. The greys used to be ginger. And then they, they turn grey. It's quite, it's, it's strange because I've actually got a, my nan's brother was ginger. So ginger was, clearly it's in my family, the ginger gene, which, uh,
but yeah so my beard and other bodily hair perhaps is a different colour to the hair on my head and I don't know is that the same with everyone the hair, my hair on my head is darker than the other hair let's say on my chin Yeah, Rachel says that you know everybody likes everybody's comfortable with long beards. I suppose it's it's a little bit more acceptable these days. Beards have been fairly fashionable for a while. Uh, I don't I don't have a beard for fashion. I just have a beard because I haven't shaved it off you know it's uh, it's just the equivalent of being smelly because I haven't washed I haven't sh I haven't shaved that's why I've got a beard it wasn't a, a purposeful action I didn't I didn't put it in my diary I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna grow a beard I had a job once years ago where their rule was you can have a beard if you don't have a beard you have to be clear, clean shaven one or the other it's all about looking tidy and respectable and stuff like that giving off uh, the right impression. So I went to work and so I had stubble, I think probably shaved on the Thursday and I was at end work on the Monday and my supervisor said, I wanted to give, wanted to just like get me in trouble. I said, "You, what are you doing? Why haven't you shaved?" And I said, "Because I'm growing a beard." And they couldn't say anything because you can't say having a beard is okay, but then say growing a beard isn't okay. So it's like quick as a flash. So that's what I did. I was quite pleased with myself. Obviously pleased enough to share 22 years later that story. I amazed myself for the... You know, I actually genuinely, sometimes I'm talking to people and I do have to just stop and just say this is just really is boring you know, about what I'm talking about, just, I'm boring myself, you know, earlier on I was talking about something that I had for dinner last night, and I said, this is really boring, I need to maybe talk about this during my session, that's what he said, is I want you to talk about it on, on your next live broadcast. It's that boring, you, you know, that's the right time to do it. I said, thanks. He said, it's okay. I said, well, thank you. Know, thank you. He said, it's okay. But I wanted to have the last word. I said, yeah. The righteous said, to be honest, you're not boring. I find you very interesting. Well, thank you, but I am supposed to be boring. That's my intention. My intention is to bore you so that you fall asleep. No, it's not putting myself, no, as that is why it's called let me bore you to sleep. I'm trying to be boring. That is the sole intention of these uh, sessions is to just let, turn your mind off and just close your eyes, go to sleep.
and just have me in the background yabbering on and on and on talking about things like I had eggs on toast last night for my dinner and I decided to drain the eggs before putting them onto the toast. So I got like a little, um, like a little side dish, you know, and I drained the egg, the water out of the saucepan. And, um, and then I put the eggs onto the toast and it was perfect. Didn't even need any tomato sauce. You know, they were to perfection. Even the toast was nice. Because last time I had eggs on toast, I thought I'd got all the water out, but I hadn't. And I went to scoop the eggs onto the toast and the water came out on it and it just it's basically it was more like a soup like an egg on toast soup and it was just a mush so I still ate it but um, toast really does I think it needs to have a little bit of a crunch to it a little bit of a you know, I'm doing a facial movement there for those that are listening. It's a facial movement, like a jaw movement, like a crunchy thing. But there you go. So this is the end of another live stream on Facebook. Let me bore you to sleep, number 67, I do believe. I hope I said at the beginning, only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I try and say that every time, but. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's hard to kind of fit every single scenario in. Don't operate a tractor. You know, don't help a don't help a, a whale give birth whilst listening to this. You know, don't don't feed a lion whilst listening to this. Don't swim the channel whilst listening to this. Don't do a public speech whilst listening to this, you know, and it could be lots of different, don't, don't drive a train, you know, lots of different varieties that you could, you know, put in. It's hard to like cover every single thing. Maybe I'll do that one day. Maybe I'll do a recording where I just talk about all the different things that you shouldn't do whilst listening to my boring voice. Andre needs a hug probably. So I'm gonna go. I shall speak to you next time. Have a lovely evening, a lovely day, a lovely weekend, a lovely, because you could be listening to this next week, you could be listening to this in a year's time, you could be listening to this in a hundred years time. It could be a Monday, it could be a Tuesday, it could be a Thursday or a Sunday. It could be in the afternoon, it could be the morning. It could be Christmas day. Who knows? You may be listening to this on TuneIn or Spotify or iHeartRadio or maybe you've downloaded it from my website. 
maybe you've downloaded the video, maybe you're watching the video on YouTube. Maybe you're thinking, what on earth is this bloke on about? He's just talking for the sake of talking. And that's right, that is what I'm doing. That's the point. Talking, just talking. Blah, blah, blah. Wibbly wobbly woo. Bing bong 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 bing bong. So I'm going to go. And just remember to be kind to yourself. Because you, all of you, deserve to be happy. Bye.